my name is Damien and we're selling this 1987 RV4. It's got approximately 2,000 hours on it and less than 200 since major overhaul. The engine was overhauled and um, finished in June of 2018. The whirlwind prop was installed on it maybe 25 or 30 hours after we overhauled the engine. This is a brand new whirlwind uh, ground adjustable uh, carbon fiber prop, carbon fiber spinner. We just installed the um, pressure recovery wheel pants, uh, stainless steel brake lines, both sides obviously. Uh, the engine's 160 horse Lycoming um, E2D, which came off of a, I think a Cessna 172. The original uh, log book to the engine is with the rest of the logs. Um, Fuel is 16 gallons a side. I looked in the tanks. They haven't been sloshed, which is good. Um, the, the paint's okay. It's got some little bit of hanger rash, not much. You can see right here, there's a little, there's a mark. I'm going to show you the worst part of the airplane. Um, let me see, there's a little, there might be, you can see a little scrape there. Um, it's a single stage paint. I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, Max, if you want to look. The, it's got uh, dual controls, no brakes in the back, but it does have those rudder pedals. They're a bit useless. Um, intercom, you can see the panel. Uh, you know, the paint's not pretty on the panel. We took the uh, vacuum system out, installed the uh, G5 Garmin, which is a great thing. We lightened the plane up considerably. Um, it's got two navcoms, uh, transponder, as you can see, if you want to get on the panel again, it's got manifold pressure gauge, G meter, uh, the standard steam instruments as well as the uh, G5. We usually fly it around with the four flight as you can see on the little tablet. Electrical system's pretty basic, uh, strobes, lights, both landing and um, taxi. Um, Mechanical flaps uh, with, the, with the Johnson bar lever on the left. Uh, heat. Uh, what else? Let's see, Max, if you want to. Oh, I put a couple of these eyeball vents, one in the canopy, one in the passenger compartment. It's got a couple of NACA ducts on the other side. Uh, like I said, this airplane was completed in 1987. I'm going to bring you around to this side. I'm going to show you this thing. Uh, it's in good condition. It flies well. It always starts on the second or third blade. Uh, we sent the When we did the engine, we sent the engine mount to the guy in Washington that probably originally manufactured it for, uh, for vans. And he welded in some gussets at the bottom. I guess they modify them uh, like that pretty routinely. The worst part about this plane, about this airframe, I'd have to say is this section right here where something happened before I owned, we've owned it for a little over two years and it looks like something, maybe somebody ran into it or hit the hangar or bird strike, I don't, I don't really know. But um, nothing structural, nothing, we've inspected it. Um, the second worst thing about the airplane is the fairings. Uh, the fairings on the other wing, as you can see, they've got these flush screws um, mostly on this. But you got these ugly screws back here that are just sheet metal screws. It looks like they kept getting progressively bigger. If it was me and I, I was going to keep this thing, I would probably slowly nut plate these and get them back to prettier looking screws. The same thing with the ring, wing root on the other side. They, they gave it the same treatment as these, and although it's, these screws are um, stainless, um, the, the other screws over there are like cadmium plated. They're just ugly. Um, the tail wheel is not full swivel, but it's these, it works great. It's the same tail wheel that this airplane has had on it since it was new, as far as I can see. Um, jumping back to the, uh, to the engine overhaul, um, the carburetor was overhauled at Mike's Fuel Metering in Florida. The, mat, the case was done at Divco. All the metal was done at the, I think at Precision Air, which is in Tulsa, Oklahoma, next to Divco. We got all the yellow tags. 
new cam, new lifter bodies. I think it's got new lifter bodies. Um, the mags were done. I, I don't know. I don't know where, but they got sent out and done. Uh, new oil cooler, new oil cooler hoses. Um, redid all the primer lines. It's got a three-point primer. Um, what am I missing here, Max? It's up for condition inspection, which we'll do before anybody buys it. Uh, somebody asked me if it had a lightweight uh, alternator and starter. It does. I just don't know whose starter it is. I don't know if it's a BNC or SkyTech. Same with the alternator. And then somebody also asked me if it's got an internal regulator or an external regulator. I. I am not 100% sure, but I can see that it's got an oval voltage relay mounted on the firewall, which leads me to believe it's got to be an externally regulated alternator. It all works fine. It flies around at 14.2 volts. Runs smooth as glass. The engine's dry as a bone. I can't really tell you how much oil it burns because I haven't been flying it that much lately, but it, I don't think it burns little to none. So, um, I don't know. What else can I tell you about it? Um, Max, can you uh, offer any insight? I mean, it flies straight and true. Can you think of any? It's got electric fuel gauges that seem to be accurate, I, although I made a, a dipstick um, that's incremented in one gallon in increments. Somebody asked me about the battery. I'm pretty sure it's it's not one of those uh, it's not one of those orange top little batteries. It's it's a con conventional uh, lead acid style. Um, what else? What else? Max, what have we done to this other than firewall forward prop? We replaced the bung for the drain on the yeah. It's got new fuel booking. drains. What else should we do? We put this little canopy, you know, not a big deal, but it's nice on a hot day. You just set the, set it up there and lock the canopy in a vented position. Put it out of the way when you don't need it. We've got various seat cushions. If you've got a kid, um, he needs cushions in the back, otherwise he's, he's too low. We rearranged the position of the engine primer because when it was down, you couldn't prime it with the canopy, which seemed odd to us. It does, it, we use this for ADSB in, but it doesn't come with the airplane, or whatever this. What's this device called? What do they call this thing? ADSB in? That doesn't come with the plane. Um, if you want to see a video of the plane flying, if you search YouTube and go to RV4 Flight Around the Beach, you'll see Max, my son who was 20 at the time just tooling around on a beautiful summer day in New England I'm going to review the logbook to find out what the uh, start and alternator are but it's got the short landing gear some people like it some people prefer the tall landing gear you get what you get when you buy these but I think the only advantage you have between either, there's tons of prop clearance. You'd have to be pretty crazy to grab the prop, but um, you know, to grab the prop while you're landing, there's lots of clearance. I think the only advantage would be maybe you could get your speed down a little lower and, and not touch the tail first when you land before your mains if you were flying it that slow. But we usually wheel land it, you know, and we, we, we do three point it um, when we feel like it, but. It wheel lands great, the three points great. Its performance is, uh, putting that uh, carbon fiber whirlwind prop on it is probably the best performance uh, addition we've done. It's, uh, it walks away from the wooden prop uh, RV4 that our friend has. Um, this was uh, 160 horsepower cylinders. These were brand new Lycoming cylinders at about 430 hours or 400 hours, I think, prior to our overhaul. They were brand new Lycoming steel, um, 160 horsepower cylinders. It's been good. It hasn't, um, 
Hasn't had any major issues. Um, it flies fairly regularly to uh, the Carolinas and Ohio. I won't say regularly, maybe once a month it'll take a trip to uh, either the Carolinas or Dayton, Ohio. Although it hasn't in the last month. He's, we've taken the RV6. Uh, it's really efficient. I think they, they're used to cruising it at around 147 knots at not quite eight gallons an hour, or eight, eight gallons an hour-ish, maybe a little more. Um, but if you have any questions, this is the date today is, what? what is this, September 28th, 2019. We've had it for sale for three weeks. I've had a lot of inquiries, a lot of tire kickers and jokers and children and that sort of thing. But uh, I got a couple of serious guys that I made this video for. I promised them I'd send them some video, and uh, I think that's about it. It's got Betterman exhaust. It's got a hookup for a uh, battery tender, although we've never used it. Um, that's it. Looking for a new home. I'm sure the next guy is going to be as happy as it, with it as we were. that's it. Any questions, uh, just message me.